Hi, I'm Kevin. So what I thought I'd do is I'll put Linux Mint on a MacBook Air and it's now a Mint Book Air. And I've also configured the FaceTime camera so it works. And I've done an OBS thing so you can see that working. Anyway, here's the specs for it. It's the 2017 model, 13 inch display, quite old. But, you know, if you try to put Windows on this, it's really slow. If you try and put Linux on it, Mac on this, just ancient. Anyway, you can pick these up ridiculously cheaply. There you go, it's like £89 or £99 on Amazon for one of these computers. And when you put Linux on it, I mean, it's literally really responsible to having a new computer. It's like actually when I first computer using OS X on it. Here we are. So we're in there. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to have a look around. So if you've not seen Linux Mint before, it's really, really, if you're transitioning from OS X or Windows, it's really easy. There we are. So I'm Mint 22.1 uh, cinnamon. Kernel 8.6, it's, there you go, it's got a 500 gig thingy, and uh, it's Intel 6000 graphics, and that has, what's it called, oh yeah, and basically when you first install this, there's an issue, you'll have to use a, a Bluetooth link to download the Wi-Fi drivers, because, and you, because the Wi-Fi drivers aren't in the Linux Mint installation, but you have to hotspot to your phone, only do the drive the manager driver manager don't do updates on it once you get that driver installed it'll appear then you can reboot and you can uh, install everything else and you've got wi-fi so yeah so <clears throat> let's have a quick look around in here what we've got it's i mean if you've never used linux before it's pretty it's like really easy to migrate over to this stuff and so one of the things was to get the facetime camera working it doesn't well by default 